KMIR 6 anchor Thalia Hayden was at Amistad High School in Indio for today's life-saving lesson. Thalia. Elizabeth, tomorrow it'll be Cathedral City High School getting the visit, and this isn't your average assembly. A mother who lost her son to distracted driving shares her powerful story with students. I'm happy she came today. So it really spoke to me. More than 100 students listened as this mother shared her heartbreaking story about losing her teenage son to distracted driving. When I look out in that audience, I see my son, I see his friends. Students say they heard Martha Tesmer's message loud and clear. I thought it was very powerful. I mean, all of it's true. Rachel Blair says she's in the majority of teens who text, talk, and just aren't paying full attention when driving. I do it. I mean, I'm going to admit to that. So it's, it's very effective. I'm going to change my driving skills now. Even the principal was touched by Tesmer's message. He says he felt her pain. When it, it hit me that this was actually her story about the death of her son, uh, it was, it's overwhelming. Tesmer says it's her mission to help students understand just how dangerous distracted driving is. And it doesn't even have to be a teen. It's anyone who's a driver. It's anything that takes their eyes off the road. Tesmer travels around the state talking to teens and parents, hoping her nightmare will prevent someone else's. It's one of those things that when you have experienced this depth of pain, well, if you have any compassion for mankind, you would do anything to keep them from experiencing this pain. Martha even brought her son's letterman jacket and put it on display to prove to the students listening how real this is. Highway Patrol Officer Joe Zagorski says deaths of teen drivers in California increase 16 percent in a year. And that's something we're trying to stop. We're trying to bring that message to the forefront so that these kids will start making the right choice. Once the kids realized what this was about, uh, they were almost silent. I mean, they were, they were engaged and captivated, and, and I'm sure they took something away from it. Don't mess around. That's pretty much it. Distracted driving is the number one killer of teens in the country. And again, this is not just teens who are guilty of it. Officials say all drivers need to pay more attention. In addition to the obvious drinking or texting while driving, they say eating behind the wheel or applying makeup are also examples of distracted driving. Back to you.